Hello, welcome to How to Scrim in CS Source Advanced Lesson 4. I, I think I'll do more of advanced lessons for the next few videos. I think it's important because I've been uploading a lot of basic lessons. And this that's more an introduction for people who are new to the game, who are new to a team and so forth. But I think there are many aspects of the advanced lessons that I want to cover. For example, uh, things about strategies, uh, what kind of strats suit what kind of teams, uh, scenario case studies and how to respond to, to certain common land match competition scenarios. For example, a 1v5 or uh, you know the C4 is down, how do you recover and retake a bomb site? Things like that. Of course, a, a disclaimer again, I, I'm not pro, no, but uh, I've played long enough and I, I'm just sharing what I've learned throughout the years. So it might help, it might not, you know, I mean, there are probably many better players out there. But uh, I just hope that whatever I share I might actually give an insight into the mechanics of the game. Anyway, um, today I'll be talking about spawn advantage or forcing yourself to have a good spawn in certain scenarios. Alright, um, so what do I mean by forcing a spawn advantage? Now, generally, if you're playing as a counter-terrorist and your position is to guard and secure stairs or catwalk, you're probably going to reach stairs after the, the terrorist rush stairs. Generally, if the terrorist has good spawns, or they, they spawn uh, nearer to alley or nearer to stairs and if they do a stairs rush, they would reach stairs before you can actually get to stairs. Now the idea is uh, when you force a spawn advantage, it's usually done by stacks. So let's say um, you are playing on the terrorist but you get stacked up to the stairs via the crates. Now you save yourself exactly about 2 to 3 seconds and that 2 to 3 seconds is crucial because you reach stairs much earlier than the terrorist would expect. Now this element of surprise can put you in the very good position to turn the tide around or to just control the, the round. This actually surprises them because you appear much earlier before, about 2 seconds or 3 seconds earlier before than what they, what they expect and hence they may not be able to react fast enough to respond to your appearance. Okay, I have a clip here. Um, it is not a very accurate clip, accurate description because uh, time is at 1 minute and 9 seconds uh, but the idea is more or less similar. Now if you have a very late spawn, let's say you're spawned right at, uh, as counter terrorists of course, if you're spawned right at the middle and your position is stairs and you don't and your team doesn't practice uh, spawn based positioning uh, in, you know and you're assigned to stairs, you're gonna be there very late. By the time by the time you reach stairs or you reach close enough to stairs, your opponent's gonna appear uh, right at stairs, you know, they're gonna be at the at the crates and so notice that here, by the time I engage my enemy, um, he's already there. However, uh, if I had a spawn advantage, for example, if I get stacked up uh, via the crates, like, like in this example, notice that uh, I have a teammate uh, who stacks me up to the crate, to stairs, and I reach stairs at 1 minute and 37 seconds. Now, now they will reach stairs at about 135. You know, and, and, I, and they don't expect the flash to, to appear at the time. And hence, most of them get flashed because you flash much earlier than before. Now, of course, um, spawn advantage does not restrict itself to certain maps like D Dust 2. I'm just giving an, an example. Uh, other examples are like at the D Train, you have a nice middle spawn for counter terrorists. You can always reach connector and, and just a snipe right across to the middle earlier before they appear. Likewise, for terrorists, if you have an inner advantage for D Dust 2, I mean, you can just straight away just flash in and go in and just counter terrorists will probably be very near B doors or at dot hole. If they manage to get into dot hole, they probably will be in the bomb site behind the crates. So, spawn advantage is very important to understand. It's very good for uh, strategies that require very quick rushes and aggression. So, yeah, I hope this helped you in one way or another. Uh, for the next time, we'll talk about other scenarios. Yeah.